Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today I wanted to share with you some Hobby Lobby yarn that I bought. <laughs> Devin took me uh, shopping and he told me to buy some yarn. So I picked out some because <laughs> I was about to say no. But yeah, so I'm super excited to share with you guys all this stuff. It's a lot. I'm going to separate it a little bit. <clears throat> I got four packages in the mail. Two is things I ordered and two is uh, Happy Mail. Got a big old bag from Hobby Lobby. Right here. There's one in it. <laughs> and some stuff from that antique slash thrift store. It's, it's marketed as an antique store, but it's got a bunch of other things in it too. Not just antiques, but other things too. Anyways, yeah. I'm going to have to scoot you back a little bit. Alright, so I we went to Hobby Lobby. Devin... I uh, wanted to buy me some yarn because he's so sweet. So he let me pick out a bunch of yarn. Okay. Mm, I'm so excited. Okay. So I got three balls of Yarn Bee Soft and Sleek. <clears throat> this has got a different name. No. But this is, um, this one's called Violet Stripe. Right there. Jesse's in the bathroom. You can probably hear the sink run. <laughs> It is 186 yards. It's size 4. This one's kind of falling apart, but it's still pretty purple. I got this for Amigurumi. And then I got the blue one. It is called Denim Strap. Again, for Amigurumi. I just thought it was really pretty. And then I got the pink one. Of course, it's a little pink. It's called Pink Strap. <laughs> but I got those just to make Amigurumis with because I like them. Might use them together. Who knows? And then I wanted some I Love This Yarn Glow Worm, but I can't find anywhere. I think they quit making it. Because I want to start working on some Halloween things. Yes, because Halloween's on my mind. And um, so when I was at Hobby Lobby, I seen some I Love This Yarn that is similar. And it's called Limelight. Oh, it's super bright green. Like a neon green. And uh, so this is worsted weight yarn. 355 yards each. 100% acrylic. It is the, just the I Love This Yarn. So I got two of those for Halloween things <laughs> and then I got two I love this yarn ombres called Ode Glory so it's just patriotic colors I like anything patriotic <laughs> and then I got a bunch of yarn I'm excited all right I got two I love this yarn metallics in jelly bean so it's like a dark green with metallic running through it they're 100% acrylic, 252 yards each. Well, they're 97% acrylic and 3% metallic polyester. <laughs> so I got the green. Can you guess what other color I got? The red. <laughs> it's called red. <laughs> can, 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 can you guess what I'm getting that for? <laughs> Christmas stuff. And then, you know, when in Rome, I got four of the Christmas color. <laughs> It's called Christmas. <laughs> How you doing, Thunk? It? Yeah, it's so pretty. And it is called, okay, it's already called Christmas. Is it the same size? Yeah, it's the same size. So I got them to make, um, I have an idea for a blanket I want to make, and I wanted to use this as part of the, like, border background y part of it. But I don't know. And I can always go get more if I need it. <clears throat> Beautiful Christmas colors. Whoa, wait, there's more. <laughs> uh, I got, I love this yarn, Light Peach. I like using this as a skin tone. Ugh, it's blown out. <laughs> it's just a peachy color. It's kind of similar to mine, except brighter. I <laughs> always look washed out. <laughs> and then last, I got three balls of metallic. Again, I love the metallic. Pinky toes. The pink. Because I love pink. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm going to use this for. But I just saw it and wanted it. And he was offering to buy me some yarn. So I was like, okay. <laughs> so I got a bunch of yarn. How many balls did I get? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and twelve. Nineteen balls of yarn. So I'm excited about that. So that was from Hobby Lobby. Need that bag. And then I'll show you the uh, antique store. So we were looking at everything. I didn't really see anything collectible, you know, that I wanted to buy. So we ended up, there's a section with toys. Uh, newer toys, you know, that people just sell cheaply. So we always let Jesse pick out a couple. So he did get some toys. But I found some things that I wanted to get. I wanted to make some of those loveys. Like Z makes. 
um, and Rose from Rose Lex like, Crochet. Uh, a bunch of people making them, but it's just a crocheted lovey that goes around these little dolls' heads. And uh, so they're the TY dolls, the new ones. They're usually pretty pricey, <laughs> like at stores, but in here they had a big box of them for somewhere a dollar, somewhere a dollar uh, and a quarter, 50 and 75 cents. It just varies. So I got this little giraffe one. And they're all in good shape. They're clean. But I'll probably clean them anyways myself. Just to make sure. Uh, so I got giraffe one. <clears throat> I got this one. It's like a leopard or something. I don't know. <laughs> She's really cute. And uh, those two were a dollar and a quarter. Oh, I got two of the giraffe ones. And it was also a dollar and a quarter. I got a penguin. <laughs> he was also a dollar and a quarter. I got this cute little dragon. I thought that was so cute. Look at him, it's so cute. And it was a dollar and a quarter. <laughs> I got this little um, walrus. Dollar and a quarter. This one's actually got its tag still on it. Tusk. And it's pink. <laughs> and I got this unicorn one. Dollar and a quarter. And then this is a different brand. This is Web Links, which used to be like an online game, but it's a frog. I thought that'd be cute. I could still put the lovey on him. Little frog. And I got a reindeer. It was a dollar and fifty cents. It's bigger, but it'll be cute. And I got a Peppa the Pig. <laughs> uh, it was a dollar. And they're all in good shape. They don't look dirty or anything. And the last little doll that I got was for a dollar fifty. Uh, Donatello. <laughs> they only had him, but he would. A lovey would go on him too. So I got all these to make loveys with. Then back in my clothes basket. <laughs> I thought it was pretty good deals because these are normally like six or seven dollars. At I like Hobby Lobby and all that. And then we found this little guy off of Star Wars, and he's got these little suction things. We're gonna put him in the car. <laughs> and he was two fifty. So he's cute. And then Devin found this one up on a high shelf, and he got it for me because he knows I love anything Tim Burton. So it's Jack. If Z sees this, she'll love this. <laughs> so it's Zach, or Jack, I said Zach, in his uh, Christmas Santa suit. And he was four seventy-five. I was super excited about that. The last thing we got, we were in line checking out. And I was, you know, looking, what you do when <laughs> you check it out. And um, I saw some Halloween blow modes. I didn't see them when I came in. So they had, uh, they had a big jack-o'-lantern one. They had one of like jack o lanterns stacked on top of each other. And a ghost. And then they had this one. And I bought this one. It was a little bit more on the pricier side. It was $35. But uh, I had it. It's from 1996. And it does work. I plugged it in. It works. It's a witch. With a cauldron. She's got spiders. And a bat. She's got like a spell book. And the lights in there. And it lights up the fire and these bubbles. I love it so much. I love uh, Halloween and Christmas decorations, so I had to buy this one. I seen it. It is so cute. It's from 1996. Did I say that? <laughs> I can't remember. But uh, yeah, it's got the same original cord and everything, and it did work. I did try it. I'm super excited about it. Yes, I can't wait to do that. Halloween has been on my mind lately. So that's what we got at the antique store. Jesse got some a bag of Legos and some uh, Thomas trains. And Devin got a couple more stuffed animals. Uh, some from Lion King and a Pokemon. Alright, so lastly in the haul will be Mel. <laughs> this is from Amazon. I ordered this myself. I'm doing a Halloween swap <laughs> with someone. Um, this Halloween we're going to do 13 days of Halloween. And uh, it's we're going to be swapping scrap balls so we can make a scrap project. And then other little knickknacks. So I'm not really going to show this stuff though. Because I don't want to ruin it. <clears throat> I did order some little bags to put the yarn balls in. I'll show you that much. <laughs> I hope they fix. They're a lot smaller than I thought they were going to be. I also ordered some stickers. <laughs> they came in a big batch of a whole bunch of them. But I don't want to show them because if she's watching this, I don't want to ruin it. And then I got some. This is a bag of... <laughs> charms like uh for jewelry but i'm gonna make stitch markers with them there's a lot in here too i think there's 50 pieces what does it say 54 they're enamel um 
just different little Halloweeny charms. I'm gonna make her some stitch markers, and then I'll have extra ones too. So I might, when I make Halloween bags for the shop, I might include um, Halloween stitch markers in there. But they're really cute. I want to show them though, cause I don't want to ruin it for her. But I did order these stickers for myself. <laughs> I have to, you know. These are Tim Burton. I love Tim Burton. It's mostly Beetlejuice and Edward Scissorhands, but there's also some Corpse Bride in there. Just stickers. Really cute. I'm going to go through every one of them because there's quite a few of them. But I love them. Love them, love them, love them. I wish they had more of his movies, but I know a lot of them, um, like Night of Christmas, Disney owns. So uh, they don't want anything without them getting a profit off of it. But um, I wish they had some more of the other movies on there too. I love all of Tim Burton. I've always loved Tim Burton. I was three when Nightmare Before Christmas came out, and I've been watching it ever since. <laughs> and uh, I love the Tim Burton Batman. I love Big Eyes. I love Sweeney Todd. I love all those movies. Ah. That was my Amazon order. And then I got a gift card for Knit Crate. Knit Crate gave me a gift card. And um, I don't really use the yarn that they sell. I'm just an affiliate and then I share the yarn with people so I just used it to buy more yarn to share with people <laughs> so this is gonna be going in my giveaway stash which I'm gonna I'm planning on having a giveaway when I hit 8,000 subscribers and uh, yeah that's just an invoice but I got three Hanks because they were really low they were I think they were 750 or something like that each and I had a $25 gift card so I, I and it wouldn't cover shipping so um, I got these three and with taxes and all that I came up to like um 24 something so just right under and then i just paid 690 something in shipping so it's the euro yarn sugared sport and it's purple i got purple because i know so many people love purple <laughs> here it is look at it it is so pretty there's three hanks it's so shiny <laughs> it is called lapis which is weird because lapis is blue <laughs> but it's um same present percent of blah, blah, blah. 70% Superwash Merino, 20% Nylon, and 10% Stilino, which is the shoddy bits. It's a sport rate and 300 yards each, so it's 900 yards all together. And I thought this would be a really nice giveaway prize. Now, I might actually save this for a Halloween giveaway, because this is a good Halloween color. It's so pretty. Yeah. But yeah, so that's my neck, right? <laughs> Alright, so the next two uh, mails were Happy Mails that were sent to me and Jesse. So the first one is anonymous. I don't know who sent it. I have an idea because of where they're from. Um, but I mean, I know other people can be from some areas. But there, was, there wasn't there was really a note. There's a note, but it doesn't. Um, it just says, I hope you can use these. Have lots of fun. But I think I know who this is from. They didn't sign it, but I'm pretty sure I know who this is from. <laughs> and I know who you are, I'm pretty sure. And if you're watching this, you're probably laughing right now. Because you know that I know who you are. But anyways, it was some fabric. So there's this one yard cut. I'm going to open it. Looks like it's like a mountain scene with bears. Trying to get it open here. Yeah, that's really pretty. So that'll be bags eventually <laughs> in the shop. Ah, try to fold it up without messing it all up. It's like grizzly bears or something. I don't know the type of bear. <laughs> and also this really pretty... This feels like it might be a yard. Actually, it might be a little bit longer than a yard. No, it's about a yard. It's really pretty metallic. <laughs> it's really pretty. That would be a really pretty bag. And then this adorable, oh my gosh, this is so cute. This feels heavier than a yard. Might just be a real nice fabric though. Oh yeah, this is, this is like a yard. A yard and uh, a quarter maybe like Siamese cats with little flowers in their hair <laughs> so cute this will be popular people love cats that is so cute and then the last one reminded me of Jennifer from Cinnamon Stitches and it feels like it's a good amount too let me look oh yeah Let's see here. this is about this uh just under a yard and a half I would say not quite a yard and a half. Stitch. <laughs> Stitch all dressed up in pineapples. That would make a cute dress. I could probably make a shirt out of that. 
But thank you, mystery person, even though I think I know who you are. I'll have to go look in my addresses that I keep and see if that's your address. I feel like I know. I know. I think, I've, I, think I know who that is. Anyways, thank you so much for that. And the last box came from Rebecca. I knew this was coming. She she messaged me and let me know that uh, she was sending me and Jesse both whoops, a birthday gift. <laughs> and um, she made me a really cute amigurumi and she got Jesse something that's on his Amazon wish list. I have an Amazon wish list for him to share with my family and stuff. And also for me. <laughs> so I can go back and shop from it. And then I have like four or five of them because I'm organized. But anyways, so she sent us cards. This is the one that was for me. And it says, happy birthday. There's gnome. Gnome. Gnome one. <laughs> gnome one. Like you. I can't remember what it says. There's no one like you. And then inside it says, birthday wishes. Here's wishing you happiness and joy that never ends. And then she signed it. She also said, happy birthday. <laughs> Ooh. And then Jesse's little card. Super cute. It's a pinata. And then you open it. <laughs> it's like you cracked it open. And it just says, I uh, hope your birthday is a smash hit. Your penmanship is very nice. <laughs> Alright, so that's our cards. And there's also a piece of wood in here. I'm not exactly sure why it was in there. But it's cool. <laughs> um, and then mine was wrapped up pretty. I ripped it open. And this is what she sent for me. So cute. It's an amigurumi gnome that is a cake. <laughs> and it's my favorite color, pink. It is so cute. This is, I know exactly where it's going. It's going to my living room on my little shelf of amigurumis people gifted me. It's made with small yarn and a small hook. And it's got brushed out um, yarn pigtails. <laughs> I brain farted on what those are. <laughs> Braids. Look how perfect it is. And it's got like a hard bottom so that it sits nice and pretty. <laughs> I'm going to put it back there for a while until after my birthday. But I'll, I got to clean off. <laughs> and then Jesse, this is on his Amazon wish list. I just added this recently because um, I was just looking for things to put in his room. I thought it was also on my side. But it is a really cool light. It's from Kit Kata 3D Dinosaur Lamp. And here's the box. And the one he got is this one right here. The Velociraptor. <laughs> He'd have been happy with either one of them. Oh, it's on. <laughs> I didn't realize. I thought it had to be plugged in. We had it on in the car. But, uh, oops. But, well, that's good. I charged it enough. You could kind of see it. Came with a little remote so you could pick all the different, um, let's see. On. I think it died. Did it really die? I only plugged it in for a few minutes to show him. But it comes with a cord, which is apparently a charger. I didn't read the instructions. I thought it had to be plugged in. But you plug it in on the bottom. And it's got this little uh, wooden thing you have to kind of put together. Oh, there it goes. It's on again. <laughs> um, it holds it like this. Let's see here. Red. Oh, you can't see it because it's the lighting in here. Yellow. Pink. <laughs> You can make it flash or strobe or fade, which is where it fades in and out and smooth. And it has a white setting. And I think this is so you can, yeah, this dims it so you, you can't see it, but <laughs> you just have to trust me. It's getting dimmer and then you can brighten it up. It's just really cool. <laughs> I want one of these. <laughs> but yeah, Jesse likes it a lot. He was super excited. I'm going to turn it off though. Uh, it's cool that it charges, so I could charge it and then, you know, it wouldn't be plugged in anymore. And then set it in his, you know, wherever he wants to set it and let it glow. This takes batteries like car fobs. So that's cool. He was super excited about this. I was too. <laughs> like, I want one of these. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it looks like you can get, what does it say? Transverse Rex, a Velociraptor, and a Triceratop. Yeah, so the Velociraptor is the red one. T-Rex and then a uh, dress hair top. That is so cool. He likes it a lot. So thank you so much, Rebecca, for the birthday gifts. We appreciate it. Jesse's birthday is next Saturday. Mine's the Friday after that. His is May 1st. Mine's May 7th. And Mother's Day is May 9th. And then our wedding anniversary is Tuesday. So 
so we got a lot of important dates coming up in a row. So, so that was all of it, wasn't it? Yeah, because I just showed that. Yeah, it was a big haul. <laughs> a lot of stuff, a lot of mail, a lot of yarn, a lot of cool things. I'm looking forward to making these lovies because I haven't done that yet, but I've seen a lot of other people doing it. So I thought I'd make them and try to sell them either on my Etsy shop or donate them uh, to a charity or something. But they're just they're cute. And these are really cheap. They're like a dollar or something each. So I thought that was a good deal. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and hop off here and I'll see you guys next video. Bye guys.